Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F1 2022 Alternate Mod. Yes, uh, apologies for the uh, delay in this episode, because of course this should have been out last Friday. However, I've been trying to fix the... Um, excuse me, I've been trying to fix the Mercedes and Williams performance file. I uh, haven't been able to fix it so far. Um, so that's going to be, you're going to see Mercedes and Williams cars performing a lot lower than they usually are. It's pro it's most likely, I think it's to do with the ERS again, um, which is a, a little bit annoying, but um, hopefully we can get, hopefully I can get fixed for the next episode. But we're going to be driving today as Daniel Ricciardo, um, and you may notice a few changes from the livery. Uh, still keep them in the blue and orange rather than the black that they've got on real life uh, but I have added the Android as well made a few other changes um, to the liveries as well including Mercedes uh, Mercedes have also now got their um, excuse me they've got coloured numbers now so the Hamilton's got the uh, fluoro yellow and Russell has the blue even though the blue makes absolutely no sense because Russell does not have those colours on his helmet at all but there we go um, also we now have the blue Alpine livery involved as well although I'm unsure about I'm still unsure about the numbers and the Alpine lettering altogether um, that might have to be fixed looked at in a future episode as well so yes um, we're going to jump into then a one shot qualifying around Australia and then there will be a 25% race um, so I have also been busy with trying to make you know match the performance as well for the all the other teams as well so um, a lot of teams have got new performance files for this episode compared with the uh, one at Saudi Arabia um, as well as we go in then to turn one a little bit okay out of turn out of turn one um, dropping a little bit in top line street but make it up through the corners there up to p5 uh, dropping down to p11 to go through this section a little bit of a twitch on the end there drops us a couple more positions um, nicely keeping it in the in the confines of the track there and um, into the middle sector now obviously uh, this is the old australia layout not the new one um, I should point out so um, being F1 2021 hope there is there are rumors that um, reports that the new one will be on F1 2022 when that does come out but that hasn't been announced yet apparently it might have been announced today but um, that's a no through this hateful corner I always lose time for those two corners absolute hateful corner uh, up to the old final sector which um, well, at the end of the third DRS straight, obviously no, none four like we see in real life, and then uh, through to the final couple of corners, always understeer through that corner because I'm on a pad, and then through this final corner, didn't really want to be on that cut inside curve there, out the final corner, and uh, it looks like it's going to be P8, it is indeed, Max Verstappen though, a little bit too dominant, we might have to look at the performance of him then, it's half a second clear of Charles Leclerc in second. Sainz is third, Perez is fourth. Gasly is still up in fifth once again. Can he stay there though? Because of course we made contact with him at Jeddah. Can we, well, can we hopefully avoid that today? Norris starts sixth ahead of Alonso in seventh. Sales is Ricardo in eighth. Ocon starts down in ninth place. A little bit uninspired. Alpine of course got upgrades apparently coming to Imola. Uh, Sonoda starts tenth. Uh, Joe 11th, Magnussen is up at only 12th, Bottas 13th, there's the effect of the Mercedes with Russell only 14th, um, Vettel 15th, um, Hamilton 16th, Stroll 17th, Mick Schumacher, I'm not really sure what happened to his lap, um, he starts down in 18th and then of course there's the effect also on the Williams team as they are once again occupy the last row of today's Australian Grand Prix. It's race day here in Melbourne as we continue with what could shape up to be one of the best Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. 
Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. So here we are down on the grid in P8. Race strategy is a one stop from soft to mediums. Can't go on the, can't start on the mediums. So um, yeah, half and half split strategy really there. Um, so yes, five red lights then to the Australian Grand Prix. And lights are out and away we go. And it's a good start. Better than Norris there. It was a terrible start for our teammate in the McLaren. We're going to swoop up into P6. Can we get Alonso through turn one? Take a little bit of curbing. Alonso takes a wider line through turn turn one up to turn through turn two. And we're able to get past. Can we look, look at Gasly in the Alpha Tower? We try and have a look around the outside turn three. Nothing doing there. We have to retake the wait, wait behind P6 as well as Max Verstappen is clean away as I said we might need to look at the performance Carlos Sainz has jumped Charles Leclerc off the line so Leclerc is down to third um, as well not having the same luck that he has in real life compared in compared with this series um, as well as we now jump to lap four we've been closing in with DRS on Pierre Gasly and now in the third DRS and there's a yellow flag behind we'll have a look at that in a moment we're going to have a look down the inside, dive down the inside, and move up into P5. It would have been elite. I reckon that would have been an easier overtake in the new uh, the new corner, right, as opposed to the old corner there. Uh, as Gasly tr tried to get on the throttle earlier, I didn't really want to give me sp any space. And um, eventually we do get up into P5. And this is what happened. It was Esteban Ocon who caused the yellow flag because he unfortunately is having Alpine's usual um, reliability and is out of the race with an engine failure there um, as well as we saw a couple of the Alfa Romeo is doing having a good result jumps lap six gas is still on me um, trying to force him out there uh, as well the tie wear though jumps lap seven is a little bit high 39% and this is a 25% race so um, yes, we are coming at the end of lap number seven. Gasly stays out, Norris stays out, Sonoda and Alonso coming along with um, one half the uh, leaders as well. As we come in, 2.7 seconds. Not not bad. We're going to come out the pits ahead of Guan Yu Zhou in, sorry, Zhou Guan Yu, excuse me, in the uh, Alfa Romeo there as he comes in. Um, coming out behind one of the Mercedes cars and out in P11 head one of the, I think that's a stroll down there and then the, obviously the two Williams of course Mercedes don't have any ERS to play with um, and there is Gasly coming out he's coming out ahead of us can we get overtaken through to turn one we have to take avoiding action through to turn one on the grass and we're gonna have to this is not over yet because Gasly of course might have DRS um, if not he's gonna have the better line coming out turn one um, but we managed to take, retain the position. But here's what happened then. Gasly, you know, I tried to go around the outside, but sort of run out of room as well. We'll get a replay on board with Gasly. He plants the car into turn one. Then I come try and come around the outside. Don't have the grip to be able to make that move or the space. Then Gasly, of course, goes for a move. He's on the hard tyre, though, so that's a mistake on his part. Um, he goes around the, tries to go around the outside, but... And we're able to take the position as Charles Leclerc is coming in again. He's got no front wing end plate on that right hand side. So what has the Monegasque driver been up to in that Ferrari? Well, let's find out because it was a lap earlier. He was coming down the pits and his teammate has, well, he's driven into the back of his teammate coming out the pits. Ferrari will not be happy with that. So we're up to P4 on lap number 10. Uh, not a great corner out there. That inside curb is painful. As well as we complete the challenges. Gasly goes for a dive bomb. We try and give him space on the inside, but there's contact. We've got, I think we've got body damage as well. So Gasly was round there. Well, he so he dived it down the inside. We tried to hold the position, but he got on the curbing, which of course uh, doesn't give him the grip to be able to turn the car um, as well. And as Gasly had his Spinala, Alonso got slowed up, and this allowed Norris to have a cheeky little overtake. 
so Norris is P5 now, jumped to lap 13 now, of course we've got body damage, Norris is not, we should, team orders would have let us, probably asked to let us pass, but there are no such team orders and the Australian public would not, locals would definitely not. Like that is Norris and Alonso are having a big, are having an absolute ding dong of a battle there, there's contact between the two. And they're still going side by side down the pit straight. Norris, though, doesn't have DRS. They fall on that one, and Alonso is through as the two Alfa Romeos and Sonoda are fighting. I think that's Bottas ahead of Sonoda ahead of Guanyu, Joe Guanyu. Um, as, excuse me, um, Alonso is all over the back of us coming in the final. Max Verstappen has won this race. Um, but uh, not having a great exit out of there. We go defensive on the Lonzo, sweep back to the racing line and able to keep the position. And that should see us through, um, although we are wide at that corner to give, um, excuse me, Alonso the room, as I think Bottas has got ahead of Norris. He has on the minimap there. Um, confirmation, we'll get confirmation from the race results. Um, yes, Bottas got DRS on Norris. And was able to go past. So, um, yes, he finishes up in sixth place. Verstappen comfortably in the end ahead of Sainz and Perez. Marcel's as Ricardo fourth. Alonso fifth. Bottas fin heading, finishing ahead of Norris. Unlucky there. Ahead of Sonoda, uh, Zhou Guanyu, and Charles Leclerc actually um, came back to get tenth place in the end and fastest lap as well after his running into the back of his teammate. Mick Schumacher unlucky not to get points. Um, he finished 11th ahead of Kevin Magnussen, who f unfortunate to finish behind his teammate. Vettel finished ahead of both Mercedes cars, again, uh, hopefully to have that performance fixed for them. Ahead of Stroll, Albon, Gasly, 18th again, contact with Gasly in the second episode in a row. Fortunate for him, um, but he, you know it's only about time before he starts scoring some big points in this series with Latifi finishing last and then Ocon failing to finish. So if you have enjoyed this episode, then leave a like, subscribe channel, and you see plenty more F1 2022 alternate mod videos. Until the next video, then I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.